And the World Atlantic Way, as you know, is the longest coastal road in the whole world. At Houston, we have a problem. So as we were driving along, we heard a massive crack. Oh, oh I thought we was having too much luck. Bugger. Bugger, man. Bugger. It's not a good situation. Genuinely dreading. Liam's turned into an absolute nutter. I actually don't like it. Can you come away from the door? <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. We're Janine and Liam Day, aka Those Happy Days, who have been doing full-time van life for over two years in the UK. Today we're about to embark on a massive adventure for the first time on the World Atlantic Way in Ireland, and it's a special trip for me as I'm half Irish and know very little about the culture. Last time you saw us, we explained about having to rent a camper van as our van was having some issues, and we crossed the waters for the very first time to Ireland and had a crazy time in its capital city, Dublin. It's going to be one of the biggest adventures we have ever been on and we start off this morning on one of the most famous beaches in the world in South East Ireland. Welcome back to the channel. We are in Ireland. Yes, this is where we camped last night. Last time you saw us was in Dublin. We are now south of Dublin by about two or three hours uh, in South East uh, Ireland in a place called Blackwater slash Curraclo. We are, we camped here last night. One of the most epic park ups we've ever been on. I mean, look at it. Just look at it. Look at that view. Um, not only is it one of the most epic park ups, but it's one of the most famous beaches in the whole world. Why is it one of the most famous beaches in the whole world? You're gonna have to have a look at it and see if you recognize it. This beach, if you don't recognize it, is the beach from the opening of Saving Private Ryan, one of the most epic war films ever made by Steven Spielberg. It is the Battle of Normandy, so it's the Normandy landing. So this is this is where they, they pretended this beach was actually France. Big, long, sandy beach with big golden cliffs all the way along it. It is absolutely stunning. Definitely one of the nicest beaches we hear in the whole of Ireland. We couldn't come to Ireland and not come here. This is where we're starting our journey off. And today, you guessed it, we are going and starting the Wild Atlantic Way, finally. And the Wild Atlantic Way, as you know, is the longest coastal road in the whole world. Um, it's truly epic, so we're here. But not only that, we are here in Ireland mainly to get to grips with Ireland more. Uh, Janine is half Irish, she wants to know more about Ireland and the culture. It's going to be one massive adventure. We cannot wait to do it. Literally, we are going from the south of Ireland all the way to the north, following the coastal road. Um, we hear it's going to be mega. So we best get our skates on because we don't have the longest time frame to do it, yet we don't have a really short time frame to do it. We Hopefully we've got just enough, but we do have to keep the pace going. So let's start off this journey in West Cork, which is about three hours away from here. Out of my head, out of bed still sleeping. And we are off. We are heading now to West Cork, which is the start of the Wild Atlantic Way. It's gonna take us about three and a half hours to get there. We're going from south to north so that the coast is on our side of the road, which we hear is a lot better. Our aim for now is to head on the apparently two and a half hour journey to Cork, where we intend on starting our adventure along the famous Wild Atlantic Way. Oh my God, we've been on the road now for almost four hours. Oh, we've decided to pull over for a coffee. I haven't had a coffee today and Oh, I think it's well deserved. Stretch and regroup, work out what the hell was going on. We are not quite sure why it took us so long to travel to Cork. However, we enjoyed some lovely coffees and a sausage roll before hopping back in the van and celebrating seeing the first of the Wild Atlantic Way signs, then head into our first stop on the trip. Okay, we have just arrived at the very start of the Wild Atlantic Way in a place called Kinsale. And we were driving through, it's absolutely gorgeous here. There's like a massive lake loads of boats like a big marina and a market in the middle of the town and it's so pretty so we've decided to pull over and we're gonna look around maybe grab a bite to eat and uh, yeah just check this place out before we actually start the World Atlantic Way. Call me the I got a potato curry with lentils and there's awesome like cauliflower, spiced cauliflower with rice. Mmm! 
Ah, oh, Kinsale, you beauty. That is, honestly, if you're driving past this way, do stop in Kinsale, whether you're doing the Wild Atlantic Way or not. For us, it means that the Wild Atlantic Way has gotten off to the best start. We've met some really nice people, had some nice food, pretty town. And now our first stop, unfortunately, is quite a long distance away. This is sort of like the official start of the Wild Atlantic Way, but the sort of semi, I think, unofficial start is where we're going now. That's probably where we're going to spend the night because of all the driving we've been doing today. But if it's, if it's where I think it is and where we're going to stop, this place is one of the only one of its kind in the whole of Europe. Wait till you see this. So we headed off from Kinsale to Lochheim, taking in our first sights of the Wild Atlantic Way. We are very excited to be starting this adventure properly, but also very tired from all the driving across the whole south of Ireland. So it was time to find a park up. Whoa. Whoa! Oh my god! This is a hundred percent not Morgan friendly. This Morgan would have hated this, and I would have had a panic attack. <laughs> even in this, is even in this is a bit dodgy. Yeah. Oh, look how beautiful that is, though. Wow. <gasps> Can we turn around on it? Gorgeous. Can we turn around on it? Oh my god! Wow! Is this a parking? Why and not? Nothing to say you can't. Oh my god. Bloody hell. No way. Oh, that's so nice. My word. <laughs> well, this is worth the drive, wasn't it? I wonder what's at the end of this road. Um, just paradise and there's no bugger down here. It's just incredible. There's nothing to say we can't park here. And it's like a hard standing. It's like a proper pier or jetty or whatever. This is awesome. Wow. We have just found the most perfect wild camping spot and uh, I'm just hoping no one comes out and tells us we can't stay here because it is gorgeous. Yeah. The view and all the colours, we've got bright blue lake, green mountains and colourful boats everywhere. It is so nice and it's really flat as well so we're not going to be rolling into each other all night. Hopefully, if we can stay here. This is Loch Hein, Lake Hein, Loch Hein, and um, it's a very special like it, lake. It is the, from what I believe, is the largest salt lake, inland salt lake, in Europe, which is incredible in itself, which means it's a habitat for so much marine wildlife in, just in this loch here. Um, but there's something else that makes it even more magical. Let's go and have a look and we'll see. Lochheim, located in West Cork, just five kilometres from the market town of Skibbereen, is Ireland's first marine nature reserve and unique seawater lake. One kilometre long and three quarters of a kilometre wide, the lake is 50 metres deep, filling up twice a day from the Atlantic tides, creating a unique lake of warm oxygenated seawater. Home to over 70 species of fish, more than 100 sponges, 24 kinds of crab, 18 species of sea anemone, and a huge variety of aquatic plants. It's one of the most important marine habitats in Europe and we've just found ourselves an incredible spot right next to it. Its main attraction to us is that it's also one of the only lakes we have ever heard that has bioluminescence. We just hope we get to see it. was freezing <laughs> didn't help that the sun went behind the clouds just as i got in the water man that was cold but very refreshing oh well that's the wash done for the day so we said that this lake is not just the largest uh inland salt lake uh, in the U in europe or whatever um it's also the only and the, one of the reasons why we've decided to come here as well if we could it's also um a bioluminescent lake as well one of the only ones in europe once again 
Um, so it's got, if you know what bioluminescence is, it's that stuff that glows in the dark, in the water. The stuff that you only see in tropical places and in this lake, the, this salt lake. So um, whether we're going to see it or not, I don't know, but we're going to camp here tonight. And whether we have a see it tonight or tomorrow, early tomorrow morning, it needs to be dark. We chilled out with a cup of tea, waiting for darkness to see one of the world's most magical phenomenons. Last night was saving Private Ryan Beach. <laughs> you didn't think we could, you even said, didn't you, that this is a more epic than that one. This is nicer than <laughs> last night's. And that's a criminal thing to say. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I hear, I hear. I'm with They're you. so different, but this last night was so windy and it was kind of difficult to sleep, but this is really peaceful. Yeah, for so, now. For now, yeah, you don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> it's sheltered though, isn't it? It's a sheltered bay. Yeah. It's absolutely stunning. It is a postcard. I never thought that we would be coming to spots. I, genuinely, in your head, you think, yeah, is it as big as what people make it out to be? And then you come somewhere like this and it's just friggin' epic. Yeah. It is so good. Far beyond expectations. Now all we've got to do is we're going to try and stay up till it gets dark so we can see this luminescent stuff. Um, and if we can't stay up till it's dark, then we're going to wake up super early tomorrow morning when it's dark before the sun comes up. Um, so one of those, hopefully, we'll see it. What's our chances? I'm not sure because it gets light so early and it gets dark so late. So <laughs> we've got. I was saying, what's the chances of us seeing bioluminescence? All oh, right. What's I'm the just... chances of us, of us getting up? Be, be, be awake in the dark. <laughs> He's such a knobhead. <laughs> Road sign white lines long drive. Something holding me back. Okay, Janine's in bed. I'm gonna go and check for this luminescent stuff. It's just getting dark. It's quite late though. No luminescence yet. We'll check later. See if we can find luminescence over here. Now it's darker, but... No. Just not quite dark enough. No. Still ten minutes. There's nothing here now. We're out in the pitch black and there's nothing. So we're going to get up early tomorrow morning and check the lake behind and whilst it's dark still. I'm fine, but I wish I never said that. Pitch black. No one's about. Let's go and find some bioluminescence. Long drive into the night. It's so early. I've got no idea what we're doing. But we're walking about the lake at like four o'clock in the morning. It's just ridiculous. After maximum effort, we were rewarded with absolutely zero luminescence, which was disappointing, but nature is never on time. It comes and goes as it sees fit, and we remain students to its great lesson of life. For those that might not know what bioluminescence is, it's a neon glowing light emitted by living things in the ocean. In Loch Hine, the light is made by one called aquatic algae. Oh well, not to worry, next time maybe. Okay, since we're up so early, we've decided to just shoot off. We've got so much to cover on this trip that we're getting a bit of a head start this morning. And we're gonna go to our first location and that's when we're gonna get washed and get ready for the day so we're going on a bit of a road trip at like 4 30 in the morning so let's do this
Now that is a view to have your first cup of tea of the day. I told them. I told them right now. Do you know that out there, there's an island that's got island Ireland's only whiskey distillery on it. That is a wicked view, isn't it? This is Browhead. Misenhead and Browhead. The first part of the west coast of Ireland. There's a lot of flies outside. I don't know what it is about this, but they're, they're all waiting to get in. Are they? They're little black flies as well. There's tons of them. Oh to, no! So, so as long as you don't get outside, then we're all right. Just unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. That's epic view done, although now it's raining. Um, but cup of, first cup of tea of the day, done. Now we need to go and use the toilets in the next biggest town in the southwest, this southwest area, before we go on to do bigger and greater things. So we're heading to Bantry. We headed off past some of the most spectacular scenery to the next biggest town, Bantry. We briefly used the toilets before journeying to our next point of interest, this time on the Sheep's Head Peninsula. We're heading for Sheep's Head Lighthouse. Okay, so we've just arrived on a sheep's head peninsula and we are at the lighthouse uh, point which is where we're walking to now we can't actually drive any further that way because apparently the road gets too narrow for camper vans i'm not sure if they mean like those big motorhomes but we're not risking it anyway so we've parked here we've got a 3k loop to the lighthouse and back which we're going to do now at houston we have a problem oh Oh, shit. I thought we was having too much luck. <laughs> Bugger. What's up? There is a gigantic crack on the windscreen and I didn't notice it. Have you noticed it before? No, I've not noticed it. When we were driving before and we heard that smack, we both looked at the windscreen, didn't we? There was nothing there. There was nothing there, no. Expecting to see a chip. This is obviously formed from that, but afterwards, like, it delayed reaction because that is massive. It's like 30, 40 centimetres long. Bugger. What on earth does this mean? Does, I don't know. Does this mean we've got to, um, we've got to get it sorted? I know we've got to get it sorted, but do we have to get it sorted I imminently? I mean, we're in the wild Atlantic way. <laughs> There's going to be nowhere to round to get that fixed and we're on a bit of a tight time frame. Bugger. Man, that's the good bit, good bit, bit of good luck over and done with. Bugger! That's so typical. Yeah. I'm gonna have to contact um, Explore Camping. Ah, oh, that's so typical. I can't believe that. So as we were driving along, we heard a massive crack, and we didn't know what it was. It was so so loud, and we checked the whole van. And we couldn't see anything. We obviously checked the windscreen to start with and nothing. And so we just had, we had no choice but to, just to carry on driving. And then, and now we can see a big crack. So it's sort of developed after the noise. Um, so yeah, we, we can see this massive crack on the windscreen. And now we're in the wild Atlantic way. Oh, I don't know what we're going to do. It's a bit of a... We're going to have to... Um, it's not a good situation, anyway. We're just going to have to keep going, and then if we see an opportunity to be able to stop and get it sorted, we're going to have to get it sorted. But, you know, that's that's replacing a whole windscreen job, that is. Do you think? Yeah, it's too big a crack. You can't just fill that in with bloody resin or whatever, <laughs> like you do with chips. But I just want to know, it's not dangerous, is it? Like, I know we're going to have to get this replaced, but it's not, you know, can we last? Should we see how it goes? I'll, I'll speak to the rental company as well. Yeah. I'll speak to the rental company about it and see what they say. Trying not to worry about the crack, we walked the distance to the lighthouse across some beautiful landscape, finally arriving at the coast to be cheered up by a very friendly Irish man wanting to talk to Liam about the football. Which is the way it goes, either up and down. Yeah. Yeah, but the money has won the game. Ah, huh? sorry? The money. The money? The money has won the game. Oh, yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, it's just business. Yeah. It's just business. Uh, 
It's just desperate. I don't. Uh, it's, 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 the sport has gone out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't yeah. it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, it is sure. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last time I love going over there for short trips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Could be London and could be Leeds or Manchester or anything. Just don't go to Leeds. I, I, drift, maybe watch I, I drift around. <laughs> Good so time. listen, enjoy your day. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. See you, bye. Absolutely, the walk, the walk, the hike to this like at a lighthouse is beautiful. It's so stunning, and of course you've got the big open ocean. That is America there. Uh, hello, America. Is it Miami or something like that, or Florida? Florida. Either way, it's a long way away. It's a Titanic's journey away. But yeah, that's it. So well worth it. Aging it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, now we're gonna walk uphill all the way back. Oh. We've just stopped next to a cafe because we're both so hungry. Um, we're not, we've stopped next to the cafe so we can cook in our van and then go for a coffee after. Maybe a slice of cake. Not sure at the moment, but yeah. Yes, a slice of cake. <laughs> Any tins? Mm. Oh, peas. Peas. Mm. Peas? Yeah. So risotto is cooking away nicely here. Just want to say that I am not the risotto chef of the family. My dad is the master of risottos. We had uh, roasted cauliflower risotto with him recently and it was just epic. Um, I can only hope to make risotto half as good as him, but uh, this one's going to be a bloody good and I know it. It must run in the family because this risotto was delicious. Finished with a squeeze of lemon and a sprinkling of cheese, it was perfect. What a really nice cafe and garden. Just in the middle of nowhere. We just saw it and stopped. And uh, yeah, it's got a gorgeous little pond. Hello, gorgeous. Hello, are you? What are you grunting at? Hello. Hey. You're gorgeous. Yes, you oh, are. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. Thank you. Oh, thank you. What do you just uh, sort of like drop it in or? I, yeah, they'll I take your hand off today. Throw, I just usually throw the bucket. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Cream and stuff. Thank okay, you. Are we ready? Are we ready? I'm not going to get my hand in there because I know how sharp your teeth are. Uh, ready? <laughs> no. Hey! Oh, oh no, I've let it land on me. Oh, oh Liam! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel so bad. They Is eat it? it off of each other's backs. Like the fact you're not going to one. Nah. No, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. What have you done, Liam? <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry. Uh, I thought it was just lettuce in there. You I had no idea that there's like coleslaw and stuff. Look at this on <laughs> your face. <laughs> I'd happily brush it off for as well. I feel so bad. Okay, cool, we're back in the van now. That was such a nice cafe. That's Heron Cafe, if you're ever passing. And we're on Sheep's Head Peninsula. And yeah, highly recommend it. It's really nice. The staff are very friendly as well. And they've got cute pigs at the back of the garden. But anyway, now we're off to somewhere that I actually am dreading, genuinely dreading. So we'll show you. <laughs> Let's go. Now. <laughs> Okay, where we're going to now is obviously it's getting darker, the night's coming in. Um, it's uh, island only cable car. Now that might not sound too interesting, except it goes from the mainland to an island. And it's the only one in the whole of Ireland. Um, it's been there for a long time. It's a bit of a rickety old thing. It's a cash only job. Um, but the thing is, it's shutting soon. And it's a bit of a, long, bit of a longer way than what I thought it was going to be, um, for one reason and another. So we're hoofing it 
there now to go and hopefully ride Ireland's only cable car. Oh my god, this is like a roller coaster, this drive. Liam's turned into an absolute nutter. You have to be. <laughs> And it's been raining, now it's sunshine, but we're in these like really thin roads and yeah. With steep drops. Oh, with steep drops. I just can't wait to get there. Yeah, it's not like your normal cable car, that is it? Look at You're, it. You are kidding. <laughs> we're going across that. Oh my God. I don't know if I like the look of that. I don't know if it's possible still. If, we are, if we're on, we'll be the last one of the day. And we've got to come back. And we've got to come back as well. I don't want to get stuck on the island. Look at it. <laughs> oh my God. Hello, how's it going? Good. Hello. Sure, I want to get across. You do, yeah. Um, there you, won't get a, you won't get a whole lot of time there, but you can go straight back up to get to the back of the line of the island, but it's not that busy anyway, so. So we'll be able to get back. Oh, you will, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we can definitely go there and definitely come back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, the last one you've done is half a seven, so you're back before that. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Cheers. You're looking forward to it, Janine? Oh, yes, I'm looking forward to it. Darcy Island looks very picturesque. Darcy. Darcy, not Darcy. Um, but apparently there's nothing on the island. There used to be a post office, but now that's closed. So it's just a desolate island. And we've got to come back pretty smartish as well, if, if we want to come back, which we do. What about the cable car? Uh, the cable car looks a bit... Um, old <laughs> and I'm not looking forward to, yeah I'm not looking forward to it actually I'll be looking forward to getting back um, because you go over the sea and it's really high and if it falls it's you know we're goners does the cable car go through the triangle yeah through does the top it? bit no through the top bit oh through the top bit oh my god this is weird, really weird. I hate cable cars. I really don't like cable cars. I don't like chairlifts. Um, so this isn't like the most ideal day out for me. <laughs> but I'm gonna do it and just pray when I'm on there, we survive. It's a bit wobbly, Liam. Oh my God. Have you ever been on a cable car like this before? Oh my God. <laughs> You expect me look to it, get I'm not in that? Look, that's it moving around by itself. <laughs> no way. Oh, Jenny. Oh. You. oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Oh my god. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's proper dodgy, isn't it? Are we going. Is anyone going to be with us or anything? I think it's just us. Last one of the day. You're joking. You're just closing up. I didn't realise it'd be so rickety and, and... Is that the only thing that holds it? Okay. Safety first, please. <laughs> there you go. Right, I'm sitting on this end. You, you know you're like old towers. Oh my God. Oh, God we're just going. We're going. We're just... <gasps> we're just oh my God. We've just literally just shut the door and it's off. <laughs> don't mess it about. Like, well, I could just open this up. Don't, don't, please don't. I, but do you that. can't. I, I only just shut it. And it I was know. Like... <laughs> Whoa. This is terrifying, Liam. Sorry. This is actually. Oh my god, I hate it. I actually don't like it. Can you come away from the door? I'm, I just I'm don't like that with, door. Look out the window with me, sweetheart. Huh? Look out the window with me. I'm not looking out. No, I really, no, hole. I don't we're like it. I don't like it. I'm not, I'm not. I can't. I'm going for the hole. I can't, I can't face it. It's horrible. Will we make it through? I think it's going to be a bit bumpy. Hold on, hold on. Hold on tight, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 it's okay, sweetheart. Oh no, I don't like it. I don't like this door. The door's gonna come open. Yeah, we're not gonna go out of it, are we? Oh no, but just sit down in case you fall. What if you fall? I want, I want to look out the window. No, don't be near the door. Please don't be near that door. Oh, that's okay. <sighs> 
poor old Janine's really not liking this. We're going to have to leave her on Dirty Island <laughs> because we've got a return journey soon as well. Last one of the day. This is brilliant. If you if you like really old school, um, not very high on the old uh, health and safety sort of things, this is just brilliant. The Dirty Cable Car. The only cable car in Ireland. Banging. What a way to end the day. I love it. We finally made it over to Darcy Island where we had about 20 minutes to look around the sites, which were limited since it's a desolate island. We did see a road and a Darcy Island sign, which would be rude not to get a photo in front of. Then it was time for the terrifying journey back to the mainland. Time was knocking on so we headed to find a park up for the evening and stumbled across a pretty epic one. Well, there's worse places to call home for the evening. <laughs> Oh my God. Do you know what's funny as well is that after the epic day we've had uh, and everything, there's no bugger on the roads. There's literally hardly anyone on the roads. We, you, you feel like, or I feel like we're the only ones doing the Wild Atlantic Way. And when you speak to some of the locals and they say, what are you doing here? And we say, oh, we're doing the Wild Atlantic Way. They say, you're not. And we say, yeah, we are. <laughs> like you'd think that loads of people were doing it. I keep thinking in my head, in Scotland right now on the NC500, which we've done ourselves and we love it as well, there's just gonna be shed loads of people queued up in all these spots just like this um and then we, we just seem to have loads of roads to ourselves beautiful crispy clean windy roads all to ourselves and views like this unbelievable my god the wild atlantic way you've already got a piece of my heart this is us for the evening uh we have done janine's a little bit worried because we've not n covered nearly enough of what we sh should have done by now um but i reckon uh, she doesn't think we might we'll be able to finish complete it in time i reckon we will um we've got the look of the irish on us we've got janine here and to think about what we've done over the last sort of couple of days um you know starting on the saving private ryan beach and then uh on the on the east southeast coast and then making it all the way across into uh the wet the west cork county cork and then going the bioluminescence took us to that point last night um yesterday afternoon that whole sort of bay to ourselves with the crystal clear blue waters we didn't see the bioluminescence and yes that's disappointing but it was the bioluminescence that took us to that point there and that i'm really grateful for because that is definitely in our top five park ups of all time top three probably top two maybe this is definitely one of them um what a day as well today i am just over the moon with this and yeah there's plenty more good times to be had we've got the the next chunk of the journey is going to be a very fun one, a bit of a scary one again. <laughs> Maybe not as scary as that cable car. Um, but yeah, whoever one of our subscribers who are Irish who said that we're going to have a really good crack in Ireland, I, we didn't think you meant, meant it literally. Bloody hell. Let's just hope that that crack doesn't get any longer and cause us any trouble. We'll see you next time. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you for some more adventures on the Wild Atlantic Way. Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright